Okay, so today the mathematician Edward Solomon has put out a very interesting video analysing the voting software in the US election. What he claims is that there is indisputable evidence of fraud here. And one of the key arguments is that in the key precincts where votes were changed, there was a remarkable uniformity in the percentage of votes for Trump. So from a mathematical perspective, what he argues is imagine that the true proportion of votes for one candidate was, say, 50%, plus or minus 1%, with, let's say, 95% confidence. What he's then arguing is that if you have a district which, let's say, has a million votes cast, then what's the probability that exactly half of those votes, so exactly 500,000, are cast for candidate A? The key point he's making is that although... 500,000 is the mean or the expected number of votes, the probability you'd get exactly that number of votes is incredibly unlikely. And that therefore, if in a number of districts you see exactly that number of votes, which makes it the exact proportion in a number of districts, then that is an incredibly low probability event. And I think he has a very good point here, but I think it can be explained a bit better. The example he uses is not terribly convincing, so I want to give a more convincing example. So let's suppose that for simplicity that the true proportion of votes for candidate A is 50%. So you can see this is just a normal distribution where the expected value is 50, 50%. It could be 50 plus or minus 1, but there's a 95% chance that it's between 49 and 51 so let's suppose there's a thousand total votes in District 1. What's the expected number of votes for candidate A? Well, clearly it's going to be about 500, but with some variation. And in fact, the way that's actually defined, it's a binomial distribution where the N in the binomial distribution is the total votes in District 1. And the probability of a, a vote for candidate A is, sim is simply the true proportion of votes divided by 100. So that's a standard binomial distribution. If we look at this, here's the distribution. If we look at the summary statistics here, we scroll down, you can see that the probability that we get exactly 500 is 0 0.024005. Just for simplicity, I've put in this node here so you can see the probability clearly. So this is simply defined as if the district one votes for A is exactly equal to 500, then this is true, otherwise it's false. So there's a 2.4% probability of getting exactly 500 votes in District 1, where District 1 has 1,000 total votes. Well, we can apply this to a number of different districts with different number of votes. So let's suppose in District 2 there's 10,000 votes. And again, this is, this is defined in exactly the same way. Again, it's a binomial distribution where the N is the total votes in that district, and we've got the same probability of voting for candidate A. In this case, the probability that exactly half the votes, so exactly, in this case, 5,000 votes are going to be for candidate A, is less than it was here. It's, it's just over a half of a percent, 0.558%. And if we go for an even bigger district, let's suppose here there's a district of 100,000 votes, then this is the expected number of votes for candidate A. The probability that that's exactly equal to half, exactly, in this case, 50,000, is 0.15%. And so these are all low probabilities. And the, the probability they'll all be true, that you get that exact proportion, exactly half in each of these districts, is just, this, it's just the, the product of these probabilities, which is actually an incredibly no, low number. It's about one in five million. And that's the key point. It's really unlikely that you get these exact same ratios.